This week, a state funding consulting firm issued a proposal to deal with the increasingly large deficit that Kentucky has for its pension payouts to state workers, firefighters, police officers, and teachers. However, the plan outlined multiple cutbacks to deal with the roughly $33 billion in pension debt that has retirees seeking counsel. To get down to the numbers, WBON-TV spoke with CPA Artie White, whose firm conducts audits on state and local governments on the basics of this public pension crisis. Uh, recent events uh, from a from an auditor that audits state and local governments. Uh, a lot of this came to the forefront with Government Accounting Standards Board. Uh, they basically set accounting principles for governments. They basically said that now uh, these state and local governments have to put on their financial statements uh, the unfunded portion of the retirement plans uh, on their financial statements. So once that hit, and it started getting more uh, prominence, uh, public scrutiny, uh, obviously from legislatures. Uh, so once they see uh, this unfunded portion, and it's, it's been coming for years in bigger cities where they can't afford their retirement, basically what it comes down to, uh, it's a defined benefit plan. And when you have a defined benefit plan, it basically says when you enter a uh, retirement system, they basically say, you put in this amount of time, you make this amount of money, we will pay you this amount of money when you retire. Retirement systems, which are quasi-government, they're set up by law, uh, basically uh, have investments, money that have uh, uh, accumulated within those retirement systems, plus the people are actually in it that's contributing to it. Uh, then they basically take all the people that are in the system and uh, uh, calculate how long they'll live actuarially. Uh, they make lots of assumptions and they basically come up with what is the obligation of the people that are in that retirement system. Well, when they take that total investments, uh, cash uh, that's in those uh, and investments in those uh, retirement systems, and the obligation that they're going to have based on how long people will live, you have a severe difference in the unfunded portion uh, that is out there at uh, the current time. So my, my feeling on it, being in the private sector, uh, obviously we have retirement systems that basically we put in money, whatever, if we have a mutual fund, whatever the stock market does, it rises to a certain level, and that's what we get. If it falls, we could lose below what we've contributed. So it's based on what the market does. And a defined benefit plan, it doesn't matter. They're guaranteed that amount of money until they die. There's different options, but that's basically what it is. So as a taxpayer, obviously I look at it from the standpoint of uh, the unfunded portion is basically uh, something has to be done uh, to curtail that. So. Obviously, uh, what's been in the news lately, they're trying to determine how they're going to fix it. They can't fix it in a year because nobody has enough money. The state can't tax people enough and contribute enough money to actually fix it in a year. So the small fixes that they're talking about would take probably 20, 30 years for it to even correct itself. So it's just like anything where you're talking about the federal deficit or anything. Uh, it's going to take time because it took time to get to that point. Uh, so uh, my feeling is you have to do something. You can't ignore it, uh, but you have to allow for the people that's already in it. So it, there's arguments on both sides how it comes, but it has somebody has to address it, but that's how it all started. And those standards are nationwide, so it's not just here in Kentucky. It's everywhere that they're dealing with it. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much common sense. I mean, all you have to do is take Social Security basically the same thing uh, is that you work, you pay into it, you're going to uh, uh, get a return on it and you know as time passes people are starting to live longer. Uh, so something has to change. So what do they do? They started raising the age that you can get full benefits for Social Security. So it was 65, for me it's 67. So it's not like they don't know that there's an issue or a problem there. Anybody that knows anything about the retirement system knows that this has been an issue for years. So it's always been there, it's just who's, who's willing to take on that fight.
uh, because you're not going to be the most popular guy if you're going to try to fix something. And whether uh, it's Social Security, whether it's a defined benefit plan from a state retirement system, you're you're you're, just, you're in for a big long fight. White uh, said he commended state lawmakers as they continue to work take, with the consulting firm to find ways to fix this growing uh, problem. Uh, For WBON TV here in Richmond, I'm Marissa gotten, Hempel. Or I'm in there and you're going to uh, reduce my benefits. You're going to have a fight on your hand and because they're used to getting it. Uh, so I think that's the reasoning behind it.